it is Thursday, December 15th. Can that be right? Oh my goodness. Well, I was vlogging quite a bit yesterday and I was feeling really like really great and really on top of the goals I had set for the day and the things that I wanted to get done. And then I got kind of waylaid by some family stuff in the evening, which everything's fine. It was just like holiday planning conversations that ended up taking up most of the rest of my energy that I had for the day. So um, I didn't get quite as much done as it was looking like I was going to, which is fine. I did, when I got in bed last night, um, go ahead and sew the suede patches on the bottom of this first slipper. Um, these are Fiber Trends suede slipper bottoms, and they recommend using a blanket stitch or a whip stitch, which I did not love the look of, so I ended up doing a back stitch. Once I had done it, I could see why they might have said blanket stitch or whip stitch because this little bit is not held down and might, I don't know. I don't feel like I would trip with something like that, but I don't know. We'll see how they wear. I can always fix them later because this person is not going anywhere in my life. Um, and the yarn they included was like very dark gray, almost black, and I didn't love the look of that either so I had some of this Regia that's kind of my like go-to neutral for like socks and things like that so I used that which I felt like matched the suede really really nicely and now I'm gonna do the second one so I'll show you how I did it I have never done this kind of thing before so I'm not at all confident that it's in the right place um or that I've left enough stretchy fabric. I'm hopeful with the rib on top that the bottom won't need to stretch too much more. Surely her foot can't be bigger around than that, right? <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm really happy with them. I feel like they look really almost professional, I hesitate to say, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the product I'm coming up with. I do think these are slightly off-center of each other actually. That's funny. Okay, well, I am having my coffee and breakfast, and then I'm going to show you how I sewed these on on the second one. That's my first priority of things to get done this morning. Second priority is a shower, because as you can see, I desperately need one. Um, And my meeting isn't until 11. It's almost 9 now, so I've got two hours in which to finish this, which should not take very long. This was pretty quick once I figured out like what I was doing and where I was sewing it on. And then um, I'll shower, get dressed, and any extra time that I have, I probably need to use to edit yesterday's vlog because I did not end up getting it finished last night, which is kind of a bummer. But I don't think I'm going to merge it with today because I think I had enough content that I want to keep yesterday on its own. Um, so my goal will just be to get it up sometime today. Morning would be great, but I'm not going to get it done by my 11 o'clock meeting if I'm being realistic. I can start. We'll see where I get. <laughs> um, so I've got a meeting at 11. I'll probably stay over there and have, have lunch and then therapy at 1. And then I need to run to Joanne to pick up some yarn. And then come home and get back to that grind, that crafty grind. <laughs>
at Joam. I am here. I ended up deciding to come. I ate lunch early, so I came between my meeting and therapy so that I could get home a little bit earlier after therapy, um, which hopefully also will put a time limit on me so I'm not running super late for therapy, but we'll see. Um, I'm just going in to pick up some yarn, so I will not get carried away. <laughs> So, Joanne didn't have what I was looking for in terms of yarn. I walked through their yarn section like, I don't know, probably eight times <laughs> just making sure that I wasn't missing what I was looking for. But I really need like a, a fuzzy, soft yarn, but not like the chenille type or the burnout blanket, if you know what those are. So... The only one they had that was even a little bit close was the Red Heart Super Saver. They had a brushed version, but it just, it feels plasticky to me because it's 100% acrylic, which there are great yarns out there that are 100% acrylic, but that one in particular just does not feel, it doesn't feel nice to me. Um, and what I'm making, my goal is for it to be really soft and cuddly, so... I'm going to have to stop by another craft store anyway, but then of course Joanne, I, I mean it took me about 20 minutes to decide that I wasn't going to get anything, and then I was like, well now I've got this whole time until therapy, what am I going to do? So I walked around, and of course they're having a buy one get three free on their Christmas stuff, and I don't know why, like Christmas decorations, my brain is like, ooh, you need more tiny trees. <laughs> I already have so many tiny Christmas trees, but I need more. It's never enough tiny Christmas trees, so I bought some tiny Christmas trees. And I also found, I think you'll appreciate, I also found these socks that say Fleece Navidad with a sheep on them. Love it. Uh, that's one of my least favorite Christmas songs. I don't hate it, but inevitably every single year someone realizes that they can sing my name into that song and then they're like oh my gosh Elise Navidad and I'm like wow yeah you're a genius you're the first person to ever think of that it's been happening since elementary school so um it's funny to have socks about a song that often is slightly getting on my nerves not the song itself just people putting my name in it um and it's got a sheep on it <laughs> So now I'm headed to therapy, and then I will probably go by Hobby Lobby after. I'm really, I really want to try to shop there less. I don't necessarily agree with the ethics of the owners, and I'm not trying to like get into that whole thing right now. But they just have made some choices that are not something I would choose to support. But I also don't 
see the point in being like super performative about it. Like there are lots of companies that make choices that I don't like that I continue to support because there aren't either there aren't good ethical options or my my income level doesn't set me up to be able to like buy ethically made and sourced items. So anyway, that's a whole like much, much larger conversation. I just saw someone reference Hobby Lobby in a video that I was watching yesterday and in the comments people were kind of like tearing them apart for having mentioned Hobby Lobby. And I know I've shown Hobby Lobby quite a bit in these vlogs and we don't have a local yarn store in the town that I live in. So I can drive half an hour away to a yarn store to shop, but it's not always going to have the like right yarn for the right project, especially budget yarns. So I don't have a, a tidy way to put a bow on all of that other than to say it's complicated and I know it's complicated and we can only each do our best at any given time. So anyway, I'm headed over to therapy. Um, and then on to another craft store. I wanted to show y'all, I don't know if you know, but that in this tree is mistletoe. That's what it looks like in the wild and it seems so seasonally appropriate. So I know what mistletoe looks like as a plant. I'm not entirely sure how it came to be associated with love and kisses. It's a parasite. That seems kind of off to me but um, if you know the story of how mistletoe got to be associated with that leave it in the comments below I'm really curious Jeremiah 33 14 through 17 the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah. In those days and at that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called, the Lord our righteous Savior. For this is what the Lord says, David will never fail to have a man to sit on the throne of Israel. <laughs> 